In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to make an element respond to sound. I'm going to start with a text. I'm going to select my text tool, select from the canvas. And I'll select the escape key. And I'll go ahead and center this. Please keep in mind that text is always left aligned by default. So I'm going to go ahead and change the settings for the title tool by selecting the F4 key and bringing up my inspector and make this center aligned. Once it becomes center aligned, I will go ahead and move it until it becomes centered. I have it selected now. The next step I'm going to do is to bring in a file, an audio file to be precise. So I go to my file browser, I go to my music folder, and I'll go to audio files, double click on that, and select on anything that may be in here. I'll select something short. Okay, and I'll go ahead and select that and drag it into my canvas. Now I'll go ahead and select on my title tool and I'll go ahead and press play. And you'll see that nothing happens. I'm going to go ahead and incorporate this title tool to go ahead and respond to that sound. So I'm going to go to the inspector, and this is by having my title tool selected, by the way. I'll go to properties, and the properties, I'm going to go ahead and select on scale. Now, I'm going to select on the word scale, and I'm going to right click on there, or control click on it, and a menu should show up, and it says add parameter behavior, and I'll select on audio. The Behaviors tab will open up and I will see Source Audio and it says None and it says Two on the right hand side of that. I'm going to select on there and there you will see the name of the audio file that I brought in. Once I do that, I can go ahead and press the play, uh, space bar or the play button. And you'll see that the title tool is responding to the audio waves. Now back on the inspector, you can go ahead and change these parameters so that way your title tool will respond in different ways. So feel free to play around with all these parameters and you'll see the result here in your canvas. Now keep in mind that Motion 5 does require a very good graphics card and a lot of RAM and a very good processor. So if you need to lower the quality so you can see the response in a quicker time, select on the upper right hand side of your canvas and where it says render, you may want to put this to draft. If you want to see the full quality of your text then you select on best but keep in mind if you put it to best you may not get real-time playback if you do still do not see any real-time playback then go ahead and go to the mark menu RAM preview and then whichever one of these options you want to select so you can go ahead and put your footage in the RAM preview I'm going to go ahead and delete this title tool. Now my audio file will still be here. If I were to select my F5 key and see my layers, and you'll see that it's not visible here, I'm going to go ahead and select my F6 key. You'll see it's also not visible there. But here, if I would select on audio, 
you do in fact see the audio file still there. So if I were to press play, it's still visible. So keep that in mind when you're working around the program and you may hear several audio options because you keep adding audios time and time again. You must select the audio and press delete in the audio tab. And now you know for certain that the audio is no longer there. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and put another element in here and make that respond to sound. So I'm gonna go to the library. I'm gonna to go to content. And in the finder, I will select on heart. Now if you do not see anything there, Go ahead and deselect. Let me clear my search. And here's a heart. Or you can go to shape styles and see if you see a heart there. Shapes. Here's a pink heart. I'll select that and bring it into my canvas go to file browser and I can go ahead and select on the movies folder let's see uh, pictures music uh, what should we pick and I'll select something short to drag it in here Again, it's not doing anything. Select on the pink heart. Select F4 to get the inspector. Go to the properties. And the properties, go ahead and right click on scale. Add prior behavior. Select on audio. And then we'll set source audio to the right. Select on two and select on the music file. And that's how you make elements respond to sound in Motion 5. Thanks for watching. This is Louis Sierra for Chesapeake Systems.